keep the altitude. 350 on the heading. 70, decreasing. This is a nuts. Star warning at 57. Light buffet, 55, increasing. 54, stall, first spin controls, rolled in readily. There's one, nose up high at the one turn. Two, down now. Three, very stable. Four, uh, some oscillations inside slip. Five. Six, the oscillations seem to persist. Recovered in one turn. Immediate response to recovery controls. Out at 6,700 feet on the bottom. As I indicated, uh, some oscillations appeared to persist. At first, I thought the uh, spin was uh, completely stabilized, but it wasn't. I kept getting some slight oscillations, and uh, it felt like side slip as much as anything, perhaps in some Earth. Okay. The plane rolls in very readily. Next spin will be two turns, normal post spin control. Five hundred hunt mic spin heading three five zero only eight thousand feet. Spin number two, that's mark for that. And coming to idle power now. Seventy indicated. Sixteen. Fifty seven. Post spin controls now. Rolled in right away. There's one. Two. Taylor runs against. One, two, three, four. It runs with one, two, three, four. Immediate response to recovery controls in one turn. But I'm down at 5,000 feet. Um, I'd like to get this on tape, uh, left tank three quarters, and right tank about uh, just short of seven eighths, between three quarters and seven eighths. And 500 again, so it'll be on record. The previous spin was two turns, normal full spin controls, followed by four turns, ailerons against, followed by four turns, ailerons with. Okay, preparing to spin, hot mic, power coming to idle, 7400 the altitude. There's full spin controls coming now. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Spin appeared to be recovered in about half a turn. Spin appeared to be steepening. Deepening slowly and uh, continuing an increase or increasing in RPM with uh, ailerons against. I'm not sure it ever stabilized. Ailerons uh, neutral, the normal post spin uh, controls.
500 hot mic. Let's mark for spin number four. This will be six turns, normal pro spin controls, uh, rudder only recovery attempt. Power coming to idle. 6,900 feet. 360 the heading. Pro spin controls now. There's one turn at uh, 6,900, two turns at 6,700, three turns at 6,500, four turns, 6,250, five turns, 6,000, six turns at, uh, oh, 5,800. The rudder is in now. Use elevator finally to recover. That was uh, kind of interesting in that the again I'm not sure the uh, spin ever stabilized. It appeared to continue winding up, and uh, finally I got down to the to an altitude where I had to go ahead and recover. The, uh, I would say the rudder is certainly ineffective, though, and uh, had to dump the elevator to effect recovery. 6,800 feet. Let's mark for spin number five. This will be six turns, normal post spin controls, elevator only recovery attempt. Power coming to idle. Spent controls. No. Rolls in very readily. There's one. Two at 66.50. Three. Four at 62.00. Five. Six at 67.00. And elevator only going in now. And it recovered. Would have recovered a little bit sooner, but I didn't want to risk pitching over. I held the elevator against the forward stop there until it looked like it was starting to pitch. And then to avoid it uh, biting in and pitching over into negative G, I uh, relaxed the controls. And it probably took another couple of turns recovering from what I, I might have done. But it obviously does recover with rudder on, I mean, elevator on my. And this is uh, 500. The next pen number six will be um, five turns. Let's make it four turns with uh, normal post pin controls, and then uh, controls free, and see if it recovers.
Five zero zero one minute dispatch time. Five zero zero. Let's park for spin number six, which will be four turns, normal full spin controls, followed by controls free recovery attempt. Sixty five hundred feet. Come in idle power. Three five zero. The spin heading. Full spin controls. Now. There's one. We started at sixty five hundred. Two at 6250, three at 6050, four controls three, five, six, ailerons are floating full width, seven, eight, rudders are about one third width, elevators almost all the way back, there's about ten, and applying recovery controls, recover immediately. Appear to be pretty well stabilized, uh, with controls free. As I indicated, the, uh, the floating uh, position of the controls was post-spin recovery attempt. The uh, fuel is reading 10 gallons each tank this time. Because spin heading is a 350. Power coming idle, 8,000 feet. Spin controls now. Rolled in very readily. There's one, just like it was to the left. Two, right of reversed. One, and it recovered. Okay, that was pretty quick recovery after two turns. This next time we'll do the same thing carry it for four turns and do the same thing. I've hundred one minute to spend time.
Coast Bend Controls, followed by re rudder only recovery attempt. <coughs> 360 the heading. 8,000 feet, power to idle. Coast Bend Controls, now. There's one, standard entry. Two. Three. Four, rudder reversal at 7,400 feet. And in three quarters of a turn, it recovered. Well, apparently, this bin has not uh, has not stabilized at the four turn point. Judging from the results we got from a rudder only recovery attempt from a six turn spin, which would not respond. So, this time we're going to have to do another six turn. The six turn right spin followed by a rudder only recovery attempt. 8,100 feet the altitude, coming idle power. There's uh post and controls. Now there's one, two, three, four, seems stabilized by now. Five, six for the reversal. One and it's pitching down. Two. Two and a half and it's recovered. Heading one, two, zero. So, now let's take six turns, normal post spin controls, rudder only recovery attempt, 350 to spin heading, 8100 feet, power coming to idle. Post spin controls, now, there's one, two, three, Four, appears well stabilized. Five, six, rudder reversal. One, two, seems to want to pitch down, and it did. Two turns, or a little less, about one and three quarters. Well, apparently we're right on the edge of uh, heading three, five, zero. Coming up on 8,000 feet. Power coming to idle now. Post spin controls. Now. There's one. Two. Three. Four. One. Gonna run splitting with two. About one third right rudder, three. And four right in around four. Well, there's almost a way back. Five. Six, seven, ah. Prop just about stopped. Went ahead and recovered that manually. Looked to me like it was beginning to flatten there just towards the last. The, uh, it was still pretty oscillatory, and uh, I had the feeling that it was flattening uh, just a bit towards the last. Five hundred rolling on to spin heading, which is three five zero. And let's mark for spin number thirteen. Thirteen will be a left spin, two turns, normal post spin controls, followed by controls three for recovery. Seventy five hundred feet. Coming idle power this time. Post spin controls. Now there's one. Two, controls three, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think it's good.
good enough to say it's not going to recover, and he turns now. Immediate response to recovery controls, and the floating tendencies of the various uh, controls were the same as previously indicated, ailerons width, and so forth. Okay, 500, I'm going to do one stall series and, uh, on the way in, and that's it. And thank you a lot down there, Captain Video, for the extra work. I do appreciate it. Roger. Seven. Fifty-six. Get the warning horn. Fifty-four. Increased control deflection and light buffet. Fifty-three. Heavier buffet. And increase control deflection. Rolling tendency. I hold the controls fixed. And it rolls off like that. Now this time, I'll come on back with the controls. Into the stall a little bit uh, faster rate this time. Got down as low as 52. Controls all the way back this time, and I'll try to control it. Controllable width. Aileron so far, but it's setting up yaw. By using both aileron and rudder, can be controlled. Up to a point, anyway. Okay. Does eventually fall off. Okay, this time, it's going to be a power on stall. Power on stall, decreasing airspeed. Sixty-two and slowing. Keeping the ball centered. Fifty-five. Fifty-four. Fifty-two. Fifty. Forty-eight. Morning horn. Forty-seven. Light buffet. Forty-five. Wants to fall off to the right. Breaks at forty-four. Slightly in pitch. Very slightly. And by using all controls, I can hold the airplane uh, level. And it's much easier than it was so far, at least, with the power off. Okay, that's it. Thank you a lot, trackers, and so on. You can uh, break track now. Tower 500, uh, landing, please. 500, uh, Port Ackeef, runway 10, 1090 at 8. And the altimeter is 306. The oscillation seems to persist. Recovered in one turn. Immediate response to recovery controls, out at 6,700 feet on the bottom. As I indicated, uh, some oscillations appeared to persist. At first, I thought the uh, spin was uh, completely stabilized, but it wasn't. I kept getting some slight oscillations, and uh, it felt like side slip as much as anything, perhaps in some Earth. Okay. The plane rolls in very readily. Next spin will be... 16. 57. Post spin controls. Now, rolled in right away. There's one. Uh, two. Hailer runs against. One. Two. Three. Four. Hailer runs with. One. Two. Three. Immediate response to recovery controls in one turn. Beat the altitude, 350 on the heading. 70, decreasing. This is in knots. 
Star warning at 57. Light buffet, 55. Increasing, 54. Stall, first spin controls, roll in readily. There's one, nose up high at the one turn. Two, down now. Three, very stable. Four, uh, some oscillations inside slip, five. About about at 5,000 feet. Um, I'd like to get this on tape. Uh, left tank, three quarters, and right tank, about uh, just short of seven eighths. Between three quarters and seven eighths. Two turns, normal post spin control. Five hundred, hunt mic, spin heading three five zero, only eight thousand feet. Spin number two, that's marked for that. Uh, coming to idle power now. 70 indicated. 